isn't it? All right. Oh God. Now this is a really, really incredibly tough second game. Um, Chaos versus Undead. Let's hope he's down a down a warrior as well. Hopefully he's crap at Blood Bowl. Um, but seeing as his team is called Fun is Fun, maybe he isn't. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be really, really nightmare matchup. I think Undead at low TV for anybody. Wow, brutal. But you know, on a positive note, one and all. If I can somehow get a draw out of this game, still keep the team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, barbecue's that much fair enough, yeah. Mm. Right, fun, 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 fun. I think I've got to receive and go for the go for the one one draw. Oh, this is this is a hard matchup. Hard, hard matchup, really. Chaos. Like even if I've had a block, I would have at least have something going for me. But as if it was worse than a fresh chaos team. It's 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 up there as the worst matchup because just because they got mighty blows, so they, they can influence your uh, your your progression as well as as well as win the game, can't they? Um, but I would say yeah, I would say, and also there's no skill involved in just dominating with two string five players. So I I would say, as far as teams go, undead and lizards are the worst, and orcs undead lizards and orcs are the are your worst nightmares for chaos because you can't outplay them. And they can just wreck your team completely. Um, whereas Wood Elves, a poor coach, can play poorly and still give you. And you know you've got Armor Seven to, to feast on, and still give you give you give you an angle. Whereas you've really got nothing. Yeah, Undead has the highest win rate in CCL. I'm not surprised. I'm not. I'm not surprised. I mean, there's a reason that I've chosen Undead in in the AD English Invitational. Uh, they are a beast of a team. Low TV. Hi TV, they're okay. But, but yeah, that's the thing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he's the worst coach on earth. I just I can't attack any weaknesses, can I? Whereas if he's the worst coach in the world with Skaven, I would have got loads of hits on Armor Seven and probably wouldn't have lost two 0 like I did. <laughs> It's a three-pointer can carry wherever he is. Just kill the kings. Yeah, you can kill the kings against lizards. Like you've got something against lizards, you can try and kill the kings or remove Saurus and things. I mean, I guess if you take out a mummy, they're a shit human team. That is, that is what you have against uh, against undead. Is literally. Uh, this <laughs> is literally take out the mummies and they're a shit human team. Right. So that's kind of alright, isn't it? There's the because uh... even if he, if he blitzes this guy, there's still a screen. If he blitzes this guy, there's still a screen. So bit of bit of a bit of a protection against a blitz. Orcs first match. All oh, right, thanks, Wolfpack. Yeah, this is shame to be facing AV9. Yeah. Yeah, AV9. It means no star player points, doesn't it? Yes, all the kills. Well, no, I'm not afraid to take the both downs. <laughs> not afraid to take the both downs. So, but it's gonna be dicey, isn't it? I'm going to take somebody else back then, this guy. So there's already two in the backfield, that's alright, isn't it? Maybe I should have had two in the backfield. 
But I, I like that now having two guys there already. Can follow on a pal and then blitz the uh, blitz the money. That worked out pretty well. Okay. Bit scary if he threatens with ghouls, but on the other hand, I'll get to hit them. So. Champs, but Champs is World Cup Destruction Derby, so yeah. Yes, exactly, exactly as Adon Keller says, yeah, yeah, Barney, that is the thing, isn't it? Unless I can blitz them as the last action and accept the both down, which could then still just kill my guy, because it's only a point of it's only a point of A B, isn't it? But the fact that they don't have an apple and they're so crucial to the team's success, means that you've pretty much got to take both downs on them. So they're all screened off. Maybe, maybe I should have uh, moved this guy further up and then gone for the pickup with this guy after moving him near the ball. Because I could have potentially got it further up the pitch, but failing puts us in this kind of... Uh, yeah, that's true, Adam, that's true. That's very true. Right, so next turn, one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's, got, he's probably been, just base everybody. There's not a lot, not a lot the chaos can do about it. There is less chance to break, but it doesn't mean that you're not going to get bro broken, you know, like, like for example, I took both down against the uh, Yeti, who was armor 8, my guy was armor 7 because of his claws, and yet his guy was KO'd for the entire game, and my guy was alright, stunned, wasn't he, so, so you know, it, d doesn't, it doesn't mean anything just because, just because you've got better armor, does it? it doesn't mean that it's going to work out the way it maybe should. Putting a bit of pressure on. It's what I wanted to do against the Norse. Or oh, the Skaven wasn't the Skaven. I wanted to get something in there. I can base the ball at the moment, so I've got to keep it all up this side. Um, right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's actually okay where he is. Um, he can 2D, he can 2D, he can 2D. So, how do I blitz this guy? Can I can I blitz him safely? Yeah, two players here and then blitz from there. most important thing to do is to just hit hit the mummy because then you strand him don't you which uh, with him being armor three armor three movement three at 
And his block's not so important. Picking up the ball, incredibly important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. Still got to follow just to get away from the. Uh... I've got a chance to clear here as well with the chain. Oh no, I don't. I can't chain because. Uh... Because I wouldn't be getting this. Um, hard bile face cam. Thanks, Lithuanian. Yeah, not bad. It has been a while, hasn't it? Uh huh. I'm gonna just accept that. Get KO'd. Mm hmm. There was really no choice there, was there? That block. And see, so there you go. Five in his armor. So if that had been a, if that had been a ghoul, I'd have been happy about taking the boat down. But my guy would have been KO'd. Hello, Pedro. Yeah, won, won the first one with his team. That's why they're down a warrior. <laughs> Yes, Necropotence, but it isn't rolled an infinite times amount of times in a game of Blood Bowl, is it? That's the problem. That's the problem with armor values. That they're hugely... There's just massive, massive, massive variance, isn't there? So, 20% doesn't mean shit. <laughs> is the problem with armor values. That is really the problem. Because removing players is so huge. And is so... Uh, is so... Um, what's it called? So swingy and so snowbally that um, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, Kim too. Uh, not dead. No, it's just missed next game. Just missed next game. He wasn't actually dead. Oh God, here's Senai. <laughs> that means it's dinner time. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that's the problem, really, with with armor, with with armor rolls, armor value being a huge factor in in player costing is just crazy because they never it never normalizes in a normal game. I know, right, Pedro? I know it's a bit it's a bit unfair, isn't it, playing that? And it's even called him fun is fun, so he, he knows he knows what he's doing. He knows that he knows that undead are monsters. Um, yeah, I think so as well, Pedro. Yeah, if there was something like that, because there's games where you know you've got two subs or whatever, and they, it doesn't even matter because you don't lose anyone in the first half, and then you lose them in the second half, or you know other things like that. And it is. I do think, I do think reserves should have more of an impact. There's so much TV for something you might not even use, and yeah, you know you could you could have loads of knockouts first half, they all come back, and they you know then they happen again and stuff like that. Yes, of course we're back. Yeah, it but it's a big if, isn't it? I mean, orcs are much better want to qualify with I think than undead. But yeah, obviously, if you're gonna, if you want to qualify with with orcs, then you've got to play them early, haven't you? Because you dominate everybody at low TV, and then um, and then you're pretty happy at avoiding the claw and everything. <laughs> can Can you explain to me Senai's obsession with Norman Reedus? I can't explain. It. How do you know about Senai's obsession with Norman Reedus? What? Tony plays pool, he says, can you explain to me Senai's obsession with Norman Reedus? Yeah, there's yeah. an obsession. Mm. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> no, not really. Is he stalking me? Yeah, I don't know. Twitter. Uh, Twitter. So the ball's a little bit safe here. Oh, Twitter, it's a thing. Oh, yeah. Do you know how old that is? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy wasn't even there. <laughs> Fucking fail the first thing. 
One in nine it. Now I can take this both down here though. Let's not look both down. Christ almighty. Not a good start. I don't want to stand here just to get blocked. Right, and now I shall mute for a while and turn off the face cam as I eat this lovely donut, and um, I shall, I shall, be right back. Oh, too late, I'll show you, I'll show you the cave up then, seeing as uh, <laughs> what a bastion of help. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you it before it gets destroyed. It's the best kebab in the world as well, just, just quietly. Um, you can't really see a lot, you can't really see a lot, but there you go, pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. There's, uh, there's, you know, sauce and meat in there. Right. Anyway, I shall, I shall mute and everything. Here we are for another episode of Radio Fashbinder. Let's have a quick look at this blood ball. Oh, he's, he's holding the ball. He's holding the ball in a cage. Alright, there's some men standing around. It's time three. Slow as a game of cricket. Set up for a one dice on a warrior. Potentially two, he brings in the ghoul, and the ghoul on a power can then get a follow-up. No, he can't, because that's the guy that moved. Unbelievable, Jeff. I'll take a call in, Odentulus. Nah, these last two games have just disgusted me. Like, the win and the loss were both just disgusting. And so it's kind of good. Like when I say one game from Jim, all I want is one game, like literally one game. Because if he plays more, I've become just too full of contempt. Oh man, base the ball. Tell you what, I don't even hate basing with five strength just because such a hassle to get rid of. But not against people who have four strength blitz. Maybe if that white comes in and uh, stops off the uh, mid midfield beastman for coming in to assist on the mummy. Yeah, see, at the moment, it's still just a free block. Well, not even a free block because it uses the blitz. But it's a block on the uh, the mummy and a block on the ghoul. And doesn't really achieve much. And this, you know, putting that pressure on on turn four doesn't really matter. But yeah, if he strained off the uh, the beastman the gym's clicking on now, and number nine, Sextus Hives, it would almost be okay. Oh, risky business from Jim. Gets the power of the dirty mop. I guess he might have had a follow up with the uh, block being a push, if it was a push. Nah, no foul. It's uh, 
Yeah, it's, it's a bit odd to chant like that. I'm sure there's a reason. He'll come be like, well, Vash Panda. Oh, fuck. I was just eating my kebab. Um, the, the reason was that I could chain that guy out so, <laughs> you know, he was, so I could cage up upfield here, but I misclicked with that. Uh, of course, I get punished with the, uh, with the push there. Oh, that's fair enough. That was my bad. Um, okay, recovered. Deserves to. Recovered with a dodge. Uh, yeah, that was it. I fucking misclicked that push. Shit. Sickened sick that I'm going to give up this block, but never mind. Yeah, a bit of base contact. No more than what your opponents give, but spooky. Mummy stands. Ghoul takes a 2D. Backfield Ghoul assists the white. Mummy blitzes Lerner. Zombie gets to bang a warrior. And the semblance of a screen. Oh, he's going for the same sort of thing, but without the mighty, mighty blow hit from the mummy. Curious choice, Jeff. The uh, ghoul positioning meant that on a push, uh, ghoul lucky gets banged, saved. A successful block. And now only a 1D. Not the optimal player. Also, this will be a bit delayed as I've long closed Blood Bowl and discussed. Bit of a bit of a hole in the screen. I think Jim might be able to find a way through. Maybe final action dodge out and, and base mummy. Just so that's not in the way. And look scoring early against Undead isn't the worst. Oh, he's clicking on a Chaos Warrior. He knows that's Marsh. He doesn't do an accidental dodge. Locks for a push. No, he'll get a ghoul for sure on, you know, turn 14, 15, or 16. When, you know, the game's already won, he's got it in the bag. And, uh, yeah, it becomes irrelevant. Yikes. Hi, uh, Duo Dora. My name is Jimmy Fantastic. I'm a young man from Britain who has moved to England, who has moved to Germany with my girlfriend. I am slowly learning to speak German. I, I know words like Gesundheit and Tschüss. And I like to sit in the sun so that half my face tans. Similarly, I'm quite fond of kebabs. But recently, I went to the dentist and I got a filling and it wasn't hurting yesterday, but now it's hurting today, and it's interfering with my kebab eating. Well, thanks, Yasmir. This dirty mutt, look at him re-rolling one in nines, not making safe plays first. Pointy pelt picks up a stun. Oh, mate, my toes have been destroyed for quite some time. I had a uh, ingrown toenail, and I had to go and get them uh, like like cut out on the edges, so that they wouldn't dig into the side of my toes. And uh, they're still growing out now, but they look disgusting. And I will never, never show anyone pictures of them.
I could. Man, I love a good kebab. The thing is, I saw a picture on the uh, internet of a guy standing on top of the kebab uh, like machine that rotates around with the meat on it. And uh, there's like a spike that's on the meat and he was standing right above the spike on the meat. And presumably meat isn't like the best standing platform. And uh, I uh, have like these awful, awful visions of someone falling and uh, getting impaled in the bottom by the meat spike. And then, because it's like a low standard hygiene at some kebab places, like they're like not not to be racist, but they're, they're usually uh, foreign guys <laughs> running them. And I'm not sure if their hygiene standards are quite up to par. And uh, yeah, I, I fear that they would just serve that meat. And look to. To be fair, whenever I'm in the instances that I have dealt food, you know, handled food that other people would then be eating, I haven't had the greatest concern because I'm not eating it. I only care about the food that I'm eating. Uh, it's negative. It's inverted. Being impaled uh, by a spike in the nether region is not something that does it for me. What is this guy doing? Is he planning on um, crazy dodges? What an absolute madman. What would that even achieve? Why would you even think that going there with a girl would be even remotely a good idea? Insanity. I will send you a picture if you would like a uh, barbecue sack. Uh, Tony, that's it, Tony. <laughs> would you like a picture, Tony? I will send you one picture. I'll even write your name on it. Making GFIs. What a dirty dingo. Deserves to lose. Never punished. Disgusting. You seem they're planning. He's like, well, I got to base the ball somehow. But if I use the closest one to blitz, I can't base the ball with the other. So I'm going to make extra GFIs with the other so that I can base the ball. Playing some Blood Bowl, GWR Narkin. Oh man, look at this. He wants to give away a double surf, maybe. Uh, wouldn't, wouldn't we worth a double surf? Single surf, though, for sure. Mate, if there's one person to merge with, it's not Jim. Just quietly. All the physical deformities. <laughs> well, Rolf Harris is a bad person. Don't compare people to Rolf Harris. Timey kangaroo down, spot. Timey kangaroo down was all about children that he was molesting. Bad man. Oh man, final action, base the ball. Get that ghoul off the ground. GFI for good measure, why not?
<laughs> he might have barbecue sack. I, I don't really pay too much attention, but he was suspected. And mere suspicion, apparently, is uh, enough to condemn someone. Forever. Oh dear. All right, I'll put the face coming in a bit. I'm just, just got to do this now. One, two, three. Oh, I've got to, got to blitz this guy, haven't I? Do I score here? One, two, three, four, five, six. It takes you two GFIs. So the answer is no, <laughs> because I can't. <laughs> Basically, but Jim, the other guy just made a bunch of GFIs last turn. Clearly, GFIs are something not to be concerned with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't do that. I'll just do this dodge. Right. So, please don't fail. Hey. It's gonna fail. Did not fail. Just quietly. That's as good as I'm going to get, isn't it, in terms of defending the ball? Nah, I send the warrior down. Oh, we'll see. One at a time. Oh, baby. I could put him here, couldn't I? Oh, look at these dice rolls. Unbelievable, Jeff. I'll put him in there just to get, just to not get my ink blowed. And you just made a 4 plus 3 plus that didn't really matter, but was nice. How good does that feel? Pretty good. I wanted to do this one as well. Fuck it. <laughs> Got a town. Uh, pretty good. Feels amazing, man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute dice. <man. laughs> just, for, just for clarity, anybody who's watching this live or on YouTube, I'm not using dice axe. <laughs> Alright. All right, I just said it. I'm not actually, not actually using dice hacks. But um, I mean, I'm suspecting you of using dice hacks based on that. <laughs> Mere suspicion is enough for disqualification. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, that was some, that was some good dice rolls. I mean, none of them really mattered that much. Did they? the crucial one was just making the the first dodge out. <laughs> Very <the> suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Someone clip this. Send it to Doug. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, I'm gonna go and Actually, floss. That wouldn't work. Because it could have been edited. It could have been, yeah, it could have been live edited. Right, I'm gonna floss yeah. and, then, uh, and then put the camera back on, so I'll be right back. Alright, one of you suspect Jim of cheating. <laughs> I can't even making these irrelevant dodges. Good time to do irrelevant dodges, and when the ball is uh, as safe as it can be. So, like, absolutely the correct play, but uh, should have failed. Well. Uh, Thorough, it did. And by it did, I mean, yes, it has. And this new ladder isn't the champs ladder. It's a World Cup qualifier. And Jim's going to win it. Get himself a new PC. Oh, yeah. Stream, streaming good quality. Yeah. GTA mass resolution. <laughs> his camera will be better too. You'll be able to see every uh, like mole on his cheeks. <laughs> No, look at this guy rolling five with dodges. I would never even try something like that. <laughs> no one died while I was away, did they? No, just the one kid. No. Good. That's actually a little bit tricky, isn't it? Because uh, no, blitzing with the ball carrier doesn't matter because it'd be a turnover anyway. So that actually, that actually achieves nothing. <coughs> <coughs> Apart from. 
machen. Gehen wir nicht mehr <lacht> zu surfen. Oh boy. Oh boy. Good. Good. Move for no reason gets punished. Unbelievable, Jeff. Now the only question is whether I make this block here with a warrior to a uh, too nice a ghoul. Is that worth the added risk of not scoring? Kind of is. 80 but... times out of 81 it is. Yeah. No, I think no risks. Let's just, uh, let's just get the touchdown. It's a tough matchup against Undead. Getting the touchdown there was the right call. <laughs> Scoring in your own drive. Good decision. Yeah. I mean, look, you're right, though. It, it could have worked, couldn't it? It, could have, it, was, it would have only been punished at 80, 1 in 81 times, gone up an extra block, but I don't think it was worth it. Because it would have added then the chance of uh, not having the re-roll. I don't think it was worth it, really. 1 in 90 used the re-roll. It was too scary, wasn't it? So it wasn't really 1 in 81. Whereas not going for it, it was one in eighty one. Let's put this loaner on the LOS. A couple of the zero beasts. Survived the mighty blow as well so far, so that's good, isn't it? Yeah, block first. There's certainly I mean there was, there's a decent chance of Removing him with him being armor seven and no no apple. It's it's not bad to do the block, is it? But it's certainly safer to not make the block. So I did the safe move first, like a good good disciple of Fash. Yeah, that's true, I don't, yeah. Oh god, that was a nice kebab. That was a nice kebab. Yeah, it was amazing, wasn't it? It's the best kebab in the world, I tell oh, you. Yeah, kebab <laughs> oh yeah. It's funny because if you've had a doner kebab in England, um, it's nothing, nothing like the doner kebabs in uh, in Emily. Germany. Oh my god, ju it's just it's it's ridiculous because you've got to be a fucking savage in England to eat the kebab with, when you when you're sober. <laughs> Realistically, but um, yeah, go my go my evil first. No, I mean, I'm definitely gonna go block first. Mm, no, I said we might go my evil first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, honestly, the doner kebabs where you get all well, they're just nothing. Oh shit, that would have been nice for him to stay. I mean, I would have been really lucky to have had that happen, but it could have happened. And I would have been pretty happy. Yeah, true, Wolfbuck. Yeah, obviously you might find an amazing place. But the generic, the generic kebab in England is horrific. It's a nice little bottle of pop. I was wondering what this fucking sound was. You've got a bottle of pop, it you haven't closed your pop properly. Um no pop. Pop so. <laughs> Pop. That's pop. Yeah, what's the bother? It wasn't closed properly. So Did it's like you do that? Psh, psh, psh. What? Did you then? No. Maybe it was your water. No. <laughs> Whoa. Um, right. Let's let's keep it like this. <laughs> Stop. No, that's not mine. We've had a few from a few places in, in here and there. They've all been super nice. But one of them is particularly Unbelievably good. In harmony. Yeah. Back off. Fairly sure fashion went to the done. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's 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 outrageous the ones that you're getting. They're like so bad you can't even compare them. It's it's it's, it's unbelievable. And I've I've had a few kebabs in England, and uh, I had I had a chicken kebab once that was really actually really fucking nice in Leeds, the Big Bite, and I had and I went back to the Big Bite one time. It was not the same the second time I went. Well, not the second time, but the, the second period of time. So if you if you're in Leeds, don't go to the don't go to the Big Bite because it's not as amazing as it used to be. Ah oh, shit. Oh well, equal players now. Could I pull that with it being the first first turn? But on the other hand, he's a loner, so I can fuck off, can I? I was a bit bit unlucky there. Alright, oh, banker. <laughs> yeah, it's true, Frank Fair Day. Okay. okay. True Scamoose. True! Um, it's pretty okay. Hey, he did a three dice, and only got, but he didn't do it diagonally. And only got a push. Good for him. Uh, I was sober the first time that, like, I. I uh, it was when I was at university. I went to university in Leeds, and uh, I got it a few times sober. It was just, it was unbelievable. But then I went back a few years later, and uh, it was shit by then. Uh, the white blocks are safer, aren't they? The white blocks are safer. One in thirty-six instead of one in twenty-seven. But um, yeah, I would have, I would have done as well. Of course, I would have settled for three dice blocks from Leeds. The more hipster, the better burger. Is that true or not? <laughs> Is that actually true? I don't think the skeleton. I don't like it. Not in a starting team of eleven. I don't mind it as twelve. I, t I kind of have the uh, 12th player as a skeleton to have him as like a shit reserve ghoul, basically. <coughs> um, could get three assists and just block this one and then boot somebody else. Which could be him, I guess, to stand him up. Man. I guess I could blitz the mummy now. Nah. Skip, stick to the plan. <laughs> Wrecked it. <laughs> Fish and chip shop. <laughs> that sounds. Yeah, I, I like them as, as a kind of crap reserve ghoul, but I don't want them on the pitch, on you know, in place of a zombie really. But I would have them on the pitch in place of a ghoul if that makes sense. Yeah, I've knocked I've knocked some people over, yeah, screw I've knocked believe it or not, I've knocked some people over. <laughs> it is <laughs> situationally better versus high TV chaos, because even chaos have guys that don't have claw. So then they can hit the ones without claw can hit the skeletons, so it's only situationally better versus high TV chaos anyway. Yeah, I, I, I don't hate skeletons, but but you know. Shit. <laughs> They're all World Cup games because it's the it's the Champs Ladder qualifier, Kid Crest Hill. I, I haven't I haven't uh, I haven't scheduled my uh, AD English one yet. Um, but it's like you know they're all World Cup games now, aren't they? Because the Champs Ladder is how you qualify. Is is the e is the easiest way to qualify actually is through Champs Ladder. Yeah, I think one one skeleton's all right. It gives you a bit more movement, doesn't he? But 
Yeah, decent, decent. Lost the first game, so deleted that team, and then uh, won the first one here, and shouldn't lose this one at least. I mean, a draw against Undead is absolutely fine, isn't it? No shame in a draw here, so... Yes. Skeletons do ignore Claw, yeah. And in fact, are in fact better against Claw, aren't they? Because they have the thick skull, but... Um, good situation. Glorious! Dynamodes! <laughs> or Dynamo Dead, depending on your point of view. Glorious, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome to Team Fantastic, thank you very, very much. Some kebab money, thanks. <laughs> thank you very much. How many spots? Four, four each season tally. So, 4 out of 32 is a way better ratio than, uh, than everything else. <clears throat> like, Rebel have like four spots for 100 odd people. Most have one spot for like about 30. So, um, there you go. Oh, wow. Glorious. Kebab money. Kebab money. Thank you very much. Sparky, Sparky, Sparky. That is kebab money. Exactly. Oh, no, not exactly. For four dollars and it's four euros, so it's nearly exactly. Thank you very much for the kebab money. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> yeah, I was just having a bit of fun when I said that. I mean, I don't, I don't hate skeletons, but yeah, they're a, they're a bit shit. <laughs> they're not shit, but they're a bit shit. I'm never, never gonna tilt. Never gonna tilt VIP eyes. I'm all, never gonna tilt. Never. Um, I could stand this guy up so that he could block him and then he could assist this and I could block and blitz him. Yeah. That seems reasonable. If this is a POW and if it's not a POW then change plans. It is a POW. He can stand. I guess actually he could stand and he could go in because he's strength four. Wouldn't hate it. Push there is fine, isn't it? He can punch him. I have rolled powers, honestly, screw roll. <laughs> I'll just power him. This is a bit of overcommit to this side, but then on the other hand, he's just got a potato when I can come back next turn anyway. So. I hate that. I'm going to tilt you up, now I'm going to tilt you down. I'm going to tilt around or desert you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good that's a good goal though, and I've seen you in quite a lot of qualifiers. I mean I realize quick thank god I realised that I was in too many qualifiers and cut it down to the to three. What am I gonna update my stream with next? Shiny graphics. Um I don't like headphones, they do my head in. I've got some headphones, but um I'd rather just not use them. I mean, I guess if I played something like, you know, fucking Pugger or whatever, I might use them. Um, but until that day comes. Uh, pretty good, eyes on well, pretty, pretty good. First game was a, was a loss, but the second game was a win. And uh, in with a chance here. Wow, he's playing risky with the ball carrier. Oh yeah, sound effects, yeah, 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 that's a good point, that's a good point, as I know, I haven't made it yet. I will, I will make it after the stream, and until then, um, until then, the stats don't lie, Dode is always right. <laughs> oh, I've got, a, I've got an apple here because I'm getting fucked on. Can't be too many players down. A 
it's simply not true. The hater does not support your assertion. <laughs> Can I do some kind of chain here? Hmm. Oh, lucky burp, bastard. Burp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the rig. Burp, burp, burp. Oh, so I took that guy out of position and he made the dodge anyway. Feels bad, man. Can't read your game. What are you doing? What are you doing here? What are you doing? Ah. Got a GFI to base. That might happen, I guess. Oh, Paladin. Paladin. Mummies are kind of a little bit good, yeah. Just a little bit. Oh, really wanted the power there, didn't I? Really fucking wanted the power there. Alright, so now I guess I have to just blitz this guy. To open, open the channel. Six. Yeah, let's go there. Tricky. <laughs> yeah, I was on the case. So if I'd got a power, I could have run around the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and based him. And I would have liked to have based the ball that that turn, that particular turn. I would have liked to have based the ball, um, just to make things a bit trickier for him. But um, as it was, I've got to go to this random, non-existent spot instead. Hey, he failed two things. All right. Well, that was a good. That was a good turn, wasn't it? Eh? And this this KO'd guy. <laughs> oh, this guy. Oh, right. Well, you know, I mean, not always. Not always need. You don't always need a power deal. But sometimes you really, really do need a power. Um, right, fair enough. Fair enough. I don't care. God, really, really wanted a power then as well. Because now it's uh, it's uh, this is pretty good, isn't it? Because now he runs round. The the guy who I used the apple on, got to accept the both down. I think, haven't I? Which means. He comes back to here. I'd really love to GFI and then block him. So don't get to. So now he punches him. Does nothing. Hmm. Maybe this guy should have done something else instead of in a nothing position. But got some good pushes here. <laughs> um. Now I want to keep him like central so that he doesn't he doesn't outrun me one way or the other. Ha <laughs> ha! 
me. I haven't just rolled pushes. On a screw roll. On a screw roll. I haven't just rolled pushes. <laughs> but I mean, I don't have block on anybody, so. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I didn't have any choice to do that. I didn't want to make GFI to so get on the back. It wasn't what I could do. Oh, yeah, I could have made GFIs, but I just didn't want to make GFIs. Like, this guy could have made two GFIs, couldn't he? But then, how about I do them before I hit the ball? Would have shut down his scoring threat. But even then, it would just be a 4 plus 3 plus out. Not even that hard. At least now he's got a blitz over here to free the thing. Oh, from his perspective. Yeah. Fair enough, I thought he meant I should have tried to lock him down more. But I already, I already did bracket him and he just 4 plus 3 plus away anyway. Shame that these guys had to stand up to get powered down, but they did their job, maybe, hopefully. Wow, he, he's, he hasn't learned from last turn where he failed two two dice blocks, just making irrelevant two dice blocks here. Oh, unless he's going to move the ball around here. Might have been better just to have dodged away, really, mate, mate. Rather than use his blitz there. Don't know where he's going to stand. Don't know where he can stand. To not get blotzed. Well, he can just run back, can't he? But then he's got to rely on his scoring threats. He's going to go there. Wow. He's going to trust in the dice. Trust in the dice. Okay. <laughs> Miscalculation gets him a one for his troubles. <laughs> Johnny Five. Um, anywhere you want. Yeah, here, yeah, but then I could have just blitzed down this one and threats, but now it's. Uh, Two dice in the ball from this guy, isn't it? Um, you can base there, I guess. I think it's still a bit rough having to just eat these hits. I'd love to GFI first to make the ball down more attractive. I can't. Got to, I just got to eat the two dice. Make the ball down and hope, haven't I? Oh, ho, ho, got the power. Outrageous. Caught it as well. <laughs> well, that might be worse, actually. Double GFI from him. It's going to be better than a dodge, really, isn't it? Got to re-roll it. We fucking need... Got a power there. We really need this guy in here, don't we? Maybe just one. Lord Bookmaster X. <laughs> yeah, he just he just let us hit the ball. I mean he he could have he could have gone back some like hidden over here or just run directly back, but it, I guess he thought he had a potato and he'd already survived four dice on the ball last time and if I got a ball down I, I wouldn't have been in a good spot really. But not only did I get the knockdown, also caught the ball, which is pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> Three turns. You can get one dice, can't you? Maybe get two dice, maybe get a recovery. But what's going to happen is going to happen, isn't it? 
Mori's in a pretty good spot, I think. Basically means that he's going to have to go for one dice. No, unless he goes for the Moon Blitz. Oh, fuck's gee, see it. Um, yeah, World Cup's on. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, this is pretty good. Oh, <laughs> he does get the knockdown. Oh, so maybe, <laughs> maybe the warrior wasn't in such a good spot there. <laughs> maybe I should have just gone there, but not wouldn't have needed a GFI win as well. Get the touchdown here, couldn't he? But he's only got two dice on the ball at least. He doesn't have a. Uh, he can't. He can't hit again. He gets it. Oh man! <laughs> oh no! Perfect scatter. <sighs> Three sixes. Oh well, I thought the Warriors was in a good spot. As it happened, he fucked everything up for me. But I should have, shouldn't have made the GFI. I should have tried to make two. Right, three turns, one reroll. It's possible. Both got two out, so nine versus nine. It's possible. This is the second Chaos Team, Johnny Five. Yeah, and do you know what? I thought about putting him, not making the GFI at all. But um, making the Blitz that way wouldn't have mattered. He, would have, he just needed to get, I don't know, it would have been a 4 plus 3 plus, but he would have still made them. He would have still made all the dice rolls, wouldn't he? So what can you fucking do? The draw isn't that bad, no, that's true. No, I don't have don't have anything. I wouldn't I wouldn't have a bribe anyway. Well okay, could have had the uh, could have won the uh, could have won the kickoff event. But I wouldn't choose a bribe. Go hard down one side. Hello, oh, Zagini. I can have a scoring threat that way. Oh, God, this is rough, isn't it? Only one turn, only one rerolls, but I've had two rerolls. I'd feel a lot, a lot happier about my chances. With only one, it's going to be very dicey. Very dicey indeed. Yeah, chaos in plural. Yeah, I got I got six chaos teams ready to go. I want to. I want to. I think chaos are a really good, really solid choice for the finals. Oh, <sighs> a draw would have been a decent result. Yeah, but it looks now it's going to be a loss, doesn't it? <sighs> yeah, I wouldn't take a re I wouldn't take a bribe ever though. But it means that I've got to use the reroll straight away. That's the that's the important thing, isn't it? Probably, probably gonna have to use the reroll straight away. And it means he gets to gum these up with a mummy. Oh no, I'm not actually because he's a warrior there. Oh, come on, he could roll a one here. He hasn't done re-rolls at least. <laughs> oh, 
as he catches it. Of course he does. There's the power that I needed. Shit. Fuck off. So yeah, there is the chance. I, do, I have got a shot at a potato here, haven't I? If I can get the ball off him. Oh, got the pal. <laughs> oh, Kaz! All right, it is good then. It is actually pretty, pretty decent. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI, handoff score, basically. So he can only get there. I can, I can go free of everything. Double GFI to just to just double GFI handoff is just good, isn't it? I'm gonna go for it. Oh man! Could actually just go here, couldn't I? And he could block there and he could try to run around and make a screen. Players, yeah, I didn't want to pass with a five star player point goal. It was too risky to roll a three plus, wasn't it? With only one re roll. <laughs> oh, screened it off. Oh, no, I didn't screen it off. Oh. I can't actually use the re roll on it. Because I have to be able to re roll the hit on the last turn. Wow. Yeah, no, you got, you got to roll the dice sometime, haven't you? I mean... I was very tempted to re-roll it, yeah, Wolfpark. I was very, very tempted. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Adon. It's so bad, isn't it? It's so bad that you just get a little... a little 15-second chunk. I, d I don't mind if I do, though, Johnny Five, because if I... if next turn, if, if this little shithead goes... Oh, it's a skeleton. <gasps> All right, I would have re-rolled it. I would have re-rolled it if I'd realised that was a skeleton. Yeah, I didn't know it was a skeleton. Necropotens. I mean, it's not an easy two dice on the ball, is it? Like, there's GFIs and stuff. But, um, yeah, had I realised that was a skeleton, I um, should have had the uh, all the skills on. Had I realised this was a skeleton, then I would have re-rolled it. But I thought it was a, I thought it was a zombie. It's, it's, it is pretty hard. It's pretty hard. A dodge... Four GFIs. You don't think that's you don't think that's not hard? He's got no reroll. And then two GFIs to hit as well. Six GFIs without a reroll. You think that's not that hard? I think it's pretty hard. I might have realised that with one minute thirty. Yeah, maybe I don't. Yeah. He had to because he, he had to get two dice. It was either mummy GFIs or a dodge from this guy.
Yeah, one die may have been better, yeah. Without a reroll, yeah. Maybe. Because that, that was that was a dodge and four GFIs, wasn't it? It was a dodge and four GFIs to make it two dice. That's why I think the two dice wasn't easy. Um, and yeah, maybe he should have gone for the one dice, yeah. But now I've got the reroll for the Blitz, haven't I? Which is what I wanted, so... <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't feel like a genius if I had to re-roll it. I already feel like I've done the safest move by saving it for it. Yeah, four G five from extra dice probably isn't worth it when you haven't got a re-roll. It probably is worth it if you've got a re-roll. Maybe, because you could change plan ah, even then, though, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure it's worth it. But yeah, I didn't realise it was a skeleton. It was a skeleton, I would have made the GFI, I'm pretty sure. I mean, re-rolled the GFI. I'm pretty sure, but I thought he couldn't hit me. That's why I only counted the uh that's why I only counted the ghoul. <laughs> I didn't didn't think of it, I didn't think it was, didn't realise it was a skeleton, so it was my my, my bad play. Not not realising that the skeleton was in range, but well not realising it was a skeleton. So yeah, I, I would have absolutely re rolled it had I realised it was a skeleton. about five minutes ago yeah <laughs> yeah it was wasn't it I really did think it was going to be a loss when you got that blitz <laughs> yeah, I really when he got the blitz but the blitz is what lost him it wasn't it because he did he did overcommit he did absolutely overcommit on the blitz so yeah yeah funny old game isn't it blood ball I am indeed going to try to cough out of chaos, and yes, this is the new one. I don't want to save this. <laughs> Skeleton factor, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, it is new season, yeah, might win. Am I going to play my G-Man match? No Condor Drake, uh, the, the guy has been kicked out of the league, so... <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I wrote on Reddit, he didn't reply, um, and he's, his team is no longer in the league, so I should be, I will be getting an admin win, for sure, in, in G-Man. Oh yes, very good point, Wolfpack. Yeah, very good point. But with a reroll, maybe the GFIs are better. But then probably not. Still, one hundred and fifteen star play point. Not bad, Sky Blue Monty. Not bad. Um, I right, try and get a try and get a long bomb here. No, I'll, I'll just fail a dodge and die. <laughs> Got a reroll for the dodge. No, it didn't die. No. Failure to farm star player points. Wow, that's unbelievable win that wasn't unbelievable. The last two the last two games have been an absolute roller coaster. All three games have been a roller coaster, really. Uh no reason to not re roll it, because I don't need the money for anything. Oh my god. Don't want him. MVP for Sextus Hypes. <laughs> They're all called Sextus Hypes. Seven A V breaks each. Forty two to forty three. I got pretty lucky there considering he had mighty blow and block on his blocks. So pretty good. I put these in the wrong in the wrong way, didn't I? Why are you in the 
What are you doing here? In reverse order on my, from my plan. Oh, uh. <laughs> sp spore plan? <laughs> right. Two, two levels. I think Mighty Blow on him probably, because he's going to be closer to get the second for Claw. And I guess block on this guy just because he's a boring dickhead. Yeah. Jim fouled him on me. Now I think he was right going for the, uh, going for the, uh, pass. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? Hey? Right. Hey. Organize them a little bit. Not bad. Lots of star player points on Beastmen. Hardly any on Warriors. Could be a little bit problematic, but then the most important thing is just to win, isn't it, at the moment? So I, I could have tried some things to get star player points on the Warriors, but I'd rather just, just fucking win. Um, right, Thank and they were both tough games to be fair, weren't they? Norse can be tricky and Undead or a monster team at low TV. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.